Good day, McVeigh, and happy Tuesday. Good morning, boys and girls. Please stand to honor our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Boys and girls may be seated. Okay, let's get to our birthday list for today. So we're going to go backward a little bit here. We missed a birthday last week. So happy birthday from Friday to Matthew Macharski. And for today, happy birthday to Ekamvir Singh in our fourth grade, Donovan Giordana in our fourth grade, and Emmanuel Karunas in our fourth grade. Uh, actually, that's Donovan Giordano. Sorry, Donovan. All right. Now, our lunch for today has been a change. It is waffles. It's brunch for lunch. So waffles today. We also have boar's head sliced oven roast chicken breast and cheese sandwich. And our typical grilled cheese and bagel lunches. Okay. So for our Get Smart Show today, we have a super cool project. So I talked to you and showed you on the globe where Georgia, the country is. Because Luca in room 218 is from Georgia and it's one of the flags not hanging in our hallway. So what he did is created for us this beautiful picture of some things about Georgia. One of the things in this picture is the Georgian flag, which really looks like this. And I'll, I'll show you in just a minute. But his looks just about the same. It has the large cross and then the four crosses. It's white and red. Again, that's the flag. And then there are some other things in the photo, like houses, the way the houses look, um, the uh, pizza, um, all different aspects of Georgian life. Now, the flag of Georgia looks like this. And, of course, we always learn about the different flags and why they look the way they do. So, it's white because it represents a white cloth with five red crosses. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So the cross in the middle is for St. George. And then the other four crosses are about the quadrants. And they are um, actually Christian. It's, Georgia is a Christian country. So these are representative of uh, the Polnitsky crosses that are unique to the country. So we're going to see this flag in our hallway soon. And we want to thank Luca for introducing us to Georgia. Now, if you are walking in the hallway and you don't see the flag of the country that your family is from, let us know and, and keep us getting smart about countries. I also have some super cool projects to share with you this week from several different people. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to learn about Clara Barton. Okay, now back to our pipe cleaners and funnels. What is this? It is a pipe cleaner and I can make lots of things with it. Right now, I'm going to make letter E, lowercase e. I can do, make a letter C. Okay. But a pipe cleaner cleans pipes. Okay, so originally, so take a look. Here's my straw. If I wanted to clean the inside of my straw, now this one is too thin. 
So I'm just going to fold it to show you. We're going to pretend right now. I want my straw to be clean. How do I clean the inside? The sponge doesn't fit. So I can take this, put some soap on it, stick it in, and clean it. That's how you, that's why it's called the pipe cleaner. It cleans pipes. That's what it was made for. It's designed. Now, if you have a thinner straw or a thinner pipe, because the straw is a pipe that we drink out of. Pipe is long. It's round and hollow in the middle. Hollow means that there's air in the middle, it's not solid. Solid means there's no air. Okay, anyhow, so if you have a thinner one, well, then you know, then you have a thinner pipe cleaner. But pipe cleaners are super fun and we use them in STEM to build things and make things with. All right, and so now friends, it's time for our mighty kind moment of the day. We're going to get our drum roll. Dun, dun, dun. So today's Mighty Kind Moment of the Day goes out to Nate in Miss t Lux class. So how about this? Nate found some money. And instead of taking it for himself, he gave it to Miss t Lux and said, you know, I found this money. Can you keep, please give this to somebody who needs it more than me? Hmm. What about that? How cool is that? There are a lot of children around the world that don't have anything. We read about this uh, children in rain school that build their own school out of mud. They only have a school when it's not the rainy season. Otherwise, the rain washes it away. Think about that. So Nate said, hmm, can you give this money to kids or somebody that needs it more than me. So Ms. T. Luck brought it to me, and we're going to do that. We're going to make sure somebody that needs this gets it. So thank you, Nate, and thank you for being super duper mighty kind. And that's what mighty kind is. Giving your best to somebody else. So let's keep doing that. Why? Because we're mighty minds. Not only that, mighty kind, mighty minds, and every day, boys and girls, it's a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.